Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Rose Chaperon. I do perfume reviews and I also tell stories every now and then during my reviews. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a return subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I love reading your comments, so please keep them coming. Today I'm going to talk about six perfumes. This is part of my haul perfume. This is haul number two. Before we go with this haul number two, let's talk about relationships and people that you meet for the first time and sometimes the expectations of them, right? You ever meet someone and you spoke to the person, then you decide to go on a date and you expect the date to go really nicely because you're like, yeah, this person is nice, it seems nice, it seems decent. And after you meet the person, you, first thing that comes to your mind is like, what have I done? So I'm gonna come back and tell you this story after I tell you about perfume number one. Alright, we are back. So, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and push the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos and I also go live. First perfume, Barredo Rose of No Man's Land. Pink Pepper, Red Rose, Turkey Rose, Raspberry Bloom, Papyrus, and Amber. I wanted to buy this perfume because I saw someone talk about it in one of the perfume groups that I am a part of. I really, really like this. I haven't worn it yet, but I tested it when I first received it a couple of weeks ago and really like it. This is the definitely must buy. But after I review these perfumes, I will have single reviews for each of these perfumes so there will be a lot of videos talking about these perfumes to let you know about the longevity how long uh, they last on my skin uh, if I like them if I'll be wearing them but definitely uh, the six perfumes that I have here five of them I think I'm going to really enjoy uh, perfume number two is I think will be one of my top ten for the winter uh, I think most everyone will agree with me with this perfume. It is uh, Apple Brandy by Killian. I tried this when I received it. I really, mm, really, really like this. If you are an apple type of person and you like boozy fragrances, you will love this perfume. It has uh, oak labdanum cedar and vanilla it is great and stupid me i'm smelling it you know with the cap on it's great it's wonderful you would really really like this perfume i'm looking forward to wearing this really uh a lot for the for the winter so i was doing internet dating you know i'm crazy when it comes to internet dating so i met uh this guy uh, you know, ex-military guy, seemed really nice on the phone, so, uh, but he appeared on the phone to be a little needy and used to, was always talking about his ex, his exes, so I should, you know, that should be, that should have been a sign, but you know, I decided to meet him, and so he wanted to meet at Starbucks for coffee, so we showed up like two minutes apart, he, he was two minutes before me and then I showed up and then we sat, he sat outside for this man was talking for about an hour the entire time he was talking about his ex-girlfriend and stupid me I sat there he never offered me not even uh, a water so after an hour I looked at my watch I said you know what I, 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 I think I'm done with this jerk I got up I said excuse me I went I bought uh, uh, a, a, a tea and I sat next to him I drank half of it and as he was speaking and uh, I got up, I said, you know, it was a pleasure meeting you, but I have to go. He's like, what? I said, I have to go. 
Uh, this is a waste of time. Uh, I am not a psychiatrist. I may have a, a title doctor in front of my name, <laughs> but I'm not a psychiatrist. If you really need someone to hear about your ex-girlfriend and how badly she treated you, I think you really need to call a shrink. I am not her. I left. I was so happy that I left. He texted me and called and said, I said, man, just get away from me. I, I don't have time for your drama. Anyway. Let's talk about perfume number three. So perfume number three, uh, when I heard about this perfume, I was excited to get it because it's one of the houses that I really, really like. I mean, I love the house. I love girly uh, uh, fragrances. And I uh, was excited thinking that I'm going to love this perfume. But when I received it, I tried it. And now it was, it just wasn't a love for me. It's the new one, uh, uh, Iris Torefi by Guerlain. Uh, the bottle is beautiful. The perfume is nice. It has cardamom, bergamot, and coffee. Uh, it has iris, of course, amber, vanilla, amber, some tea, and some leather. It just did not have that wow factor for me. Maybe it's because, you know, I'm smelling in the in the warm season. Uh, it's probably meant to be a kind of a summer and spring fragrance, but so far this is just a like for me. Maybe later on I will come to love it, but right now it, it, it's just a like. It's just going to sit and, you know, in the like, like section for me. And uh, unless you really, really like fragrances with tea and also iris, I wouldn't run and spend $260 on it because I think you can do so much better with your money. It's just my opinion. Uh, perfume number four, my God. This one, ha! comparing to the uh, Gale perfume, this one is just a must have. Uh, it's Dolce Aqua by Profumo Roma. I cannot pronounce it. I think it's Profunum Woma, but this is just the way I'm going to pronounce it. But it's Dolce Aqua. This is one of the sexiest floral, fruity, garment uh, fragrance you're going to find. It's for men and women. Anybody can enjoy this perfume. If you buy it, be careful with the top because it is not a spray bottle. Uh, the perfume also comes with a small decant where you can decant it and put in it, but be careful when you open it because you might end up losing losing your juice. Uh, it was launched in 2011. It has tonka beans, uh, heliotrope, almond, and coconut. This is a definitely, definitely a must-have for uh, garment lover uh, and foodie uh, uh, perfumes. This is something that I probably would say maybe it's a wedding perfume. Definitely, definitely summer. Great summer, great spring perfume. I'm going to really, really enjoy wearing this perfume. It's super sexy, super beautiful. My number five perfume, uh, it's kind of a strong perfume. Uh, I really, really like this perfume. I actually, I love this perfume. It's very strong. It's one of those perfumes that calls your name. It's uh, Initial Psychedelic Love. It's super, super nice, guys. Uh, the perfume, the way you see the bottle, is actually, that's what the juice, you know, uh, smells like. Dark, warm, you know, sexy, heavy kind of perfume. You can wear this uh, to go out. You can wear it at night. It's very strong. It has some really good almond and some really good vanilla. It has rose and it has Indian and heliotropin. Uh, really nice perfume, worth every penny that I've uh, paid for it. I'm going to enjoy wearing this perfume in the summer. And again, I will have a full review on each of these fragrances that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm talking about here today. The last perfume for the night is uh, Moss. Ravageur by Frédéric Mal. This perfume, I purchased this perfume because I heard another YouTuber talk about it. And she said it was a love for her and, and guess what? It's a love for me as well. 
Uh, I've had it for maybe a month and never opened it. And, you know, I'm crazy like that. I buy them and unless I'm ready to wear them or I'm ready to discuss them, I do not uh, open them because, you know, I just want the war factor after I open them to talk about them. Uh, this perfume here has lavender, bergamot, cinnamon, cloves, sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, uh, and cedar. It's super, super nice. Uh, really good fragrance. Um, I have yet to meet a fragrance by Frederick Mal that I did not like. I love all of his fragrances. I love this one equally to the other two fragrances that I own from, from, from this house. And uh, I think, guys, ladies, you would enjoy this perfume. And the bottle is just so uh, unisex. It's, it's a great fragrance. If you can get your hand in it on it, just you know, buy this fragrance. It, it's just uh, super nice. So let's go back again to the fragrances that I spoke of today. Uh, the first one was Rose of No Man's Land by Barredo. The second one was, I think, sorry, uh, Killian Apple Brandy. Love, love this one. Great fragrance. The third one was the one that's not so much a love for me. It's a life for now. Uh, but I may change my mind about it after I've worn it, had it, an opportunity to wear it to see how it does on my skin. But for now, it's just a like. Uh, perfume number four. Oh, yes, baby. Dose Aqua. Great, great perfume. Love, 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 love it. Uh, and my heavy, sexy, Cuddle Me perfume, right? Initial Psychedelic Love. Another love, another love, love of mine. And the last one, Most Ravager by Frederick Mal. Very close to, st to your skin perfume. I think anyone can wear this perfume. Anyone will feel good wearing this perfume. It's a love for me. So again, if you like my channel, you like my content, Please subscribe, like, and comment. Push the notification bell and you'll be notified when I have new content posted. And share my video if you like. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. Be good to one another. Make sure you smell good. Wear perfumes. Just wear the heck out of your perfume. They are there to be worn, right? Wear them to bed. Wear them out. Put them to the gym, put them to work. Perfumes are love. Be good to yourself. Protect yourself. Wear your mask in public. Thank you. Bye now.